So now that I have the queen, I'm gonna come over here. David Burns here, opening up a hive after winter. Some of the struggles of uh, knowing what to do, I'm sure a lot of you face. And so I thought I'd just walk you through what I'm doing here. Uh, I only gave this hive one winter bee kind, which usually that's rare for me. I usually give them a lot more. They had a super that they went through the winter with the super. And as you can see, they ate all the winter bee kind sugar out of that, dropping some of it toward the edges like this, probably because they were more clustered and dissolved it toward the middle. I'm gonna take that off and I'm not gonna lay it by the hive. It might induce some spring robbing. I'm just gonna set that, discard that sugar later on somewhere away from the hive. So I've got this super on. We wanna look at this super. Likely that the queen is up here laying in super like she likes to do. Take a look at here. We're gonna get her here in the next frame or two, I know, if she's up in the top. A lot of times the queens go back down. Yep, I see her here on this frame. Uh, she's right here. I'll get, use my hive tool to show you the tip of the hive tool. You can see her right here walking around. She's beautiful, good laying queen. What would you do with the queen and the super? Well, I'm gonna put her somewhere else, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna lay this frame down on top of the winter bee kind so that the queen will stay intact on this frame. I'm gonna move that super off and I'm gonna look at the next frame. Eventually I'll be putting my queen down into the deep boxes, but right now she's gonna set right there. Implements a little more smoke because we're going deep. I'm gonna see what's in the top deep. I've only got about three frames of uh, partial brood up here. It's not real bad. Use plenty of smoke this time of the year, too. Here's my queen frame. I gotta relook. Okay, she's still in the same place. You can see her there. Let me move that up. So she's walking around right here. Um, I'm gonna pick her up here in just a minute. As soon as I can get a good position of her. I like her to be an angled a certain way for me to pick her up. Okay, I've got her now. So now that I have the queen, I'm gonna come over here and just let her walk down anywhere between those two frames right there. So now I know my queen is not in my top super, right? At this point, if you wanted to, you could put a queen excluder on. Probably not a bad idea. Okay, I found a queen excluder laying in the grass over there from last year. So now that I know my queen is below, I'll just go ahead and put a queen excluder on. Most of you know that I don't do that, but I also want her to get started laying down below that super. This is something that I explained in my tips today where I said, you know, go ahead and let your queen go down there and then you can put a queen excluder on. Now this has been left out in the sun and uh, next to my building, so it got a little warped. I'm hoping that when I put my super back on, things will flatten out. Be sure and check for any holes that may have developed. You don't want that to happen. All right, so let's go ahead and put this uh, super back on. The queen is not in it, but it does have brood in it. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. And as you can see, let me move you over here. Uh, down, you can see how the queen excluder is, will be holding the queen down there. This will give time for all the upper brood to, to emerge and the, bee, the queen will start working down here. Now, some of you may have other questions about moving your queen down. Like, you may not want to touch your queen. What do you do if you don't want to pick up your queen like I showed you in the video? Well, you can always shake her off of the frames, kind of gently shake the frame so that she falls onto that deep. Or you can use a clip and kind of just clip her with that clip into the clip cage and then shake her into that uh, deep as well. Another question I thought you might ask is, do you go ahead and feed them with that honey super on there? Yeah, I think I would. Now you can see we've already got some dandelions popping, only one or two on the property, so not, not that many. So it's gonna be a little while before they all start popping pretty nicely. So we probably do need to feed our hives. And the best way to think about it is that super on top, that's the one you're gonna to have to question whether you wanna feed them with that super on there, right? That's your question. 
So if they take the sugar water, they may store it in that super. And in that case, it's not really honey from the nectaries of flowers. And so it's really not true honey, so to speak. And so that would be a super that I would just dedicate to stay on the hive, to support the hive and give them strength. Like you see here, this one has uh, four supers. And so some of these supers, I just dedicate uh, to be the hive itself. But if you want to extract the honey out of the top super, um, then I would not recommend feeding them or uh, just simply uh, go ahead and do some uh, feeding out in the fields or something. If you're, if you're comfortable doing open feeding, you can feed your bees that way. Another question is oftentimes asked about the brood up in that super. What do you do with it? What about the brood? What happens? Well, what happens is all the brood will emerge and it'll be worker bees and they will go through the queen excluder and become part of the brood nest below them. And then the bees will start storing honey in that super above the two deeps. Now the drones, if there are drones in there, I think I saw a few, they will be trapped because they're too big to make it through the queen excluder. So you'll eventually have to go out there, sometimes just taking the top off for a little bit. They'll quickly try to escape out of the top after they know that's the only way out. So think about those things when you're trying to decide how to go transition from, you know, your winter bee kinds on there, your queens maybe up in your super. How do you deal with it? Big question, I wanted to address it today. Happy Friday, here's a great video that I just made on how to inspect your hives. Take a look at it guys, I'll see you over there.